Okay, hi guys, I'm Duchess. This is my channel, Duchess Divinity, and we do lots of stuff here, um, but today I'm gonna tell you a story time. So the first thing I wanna say is like, you do not have to believe me. You do not have to think that what happened is real. Um, this is a fanciful, kind of crazy story, and you can think of it as that. You can think of it as just a story. For me, it's real. I had the real experience and I'm super excited and I wanna share it because I know that there's plenty of people on this channel who will appreciate this, will believe me, and will enjoy the story. And if you disagree, that's fine, but if you put a comment, it needs to be respectful on this page. You don't just get to say and act however you want, um, leaving hateful or bullying comments. Hateful and bullying comments will be deleted and your channel will be blocked. You are allowed to disagree in a respectful and kind manner, but as soon as the name calling comes out, as soon as the hateful speech comes out, you're done and you don't get a second chance. So I just have to say that before we start. Um, in no way am I trying to force you to believe anything or make you, um, you know, cater to my beliefs. Um, and like I said, if you disagree, for one, you can just click off the video. <laughs> Nobody's like holding a gun to your head, making you watch this and making you comment terrible things. But second of all, just listen to it like a fanciful story. If nothing else, this would be a great movie and I'm probably gonna make it someday. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, let's get right into it. So who am I? If you don't know who I am, I am a psychic and a witch. I'm very powerful, not to sound braggy or toot my own horn, but I am incredibly psychic. I've been this way since I was two years old. Um, I'm a very powerful witch and I work very hard for my clients on this channel and I'm particularly good at um, beauty spells and, well, I'm good at a lot of different spells, but I really love beauty spells and I'm a very good tarot reader. So that's kind of like my background. I've been dabbling in this stuff as an adult for the last 13 years. I've had my business here on YouTube since 2019 and it's currently 2023. So I've been monetizing my gifts for that long. Um, but like I said, I started seeing spirits and things along those lines when I was two years old and I was old enough to speak and I would tell my parents this like crazy stuff about seeing things that weren't actually there. Um, so yeah, that, that's who I am. So, okay. So this all started with a past life reading. So I have the gift to see people's past lives and I was doing a past life reading for a really amazing, wonderful, long time client. She's also very psychic. She's also very powerful. Now, when I got there, I had an experience like I have not usually had. This happens sometimes where the soul of the client puts me in their body. So it's like I'm seeing through their eyes, um, but it doesn't happen often, but it happened here. So I came into the life and I was in this girl's body and she was actually a prostitute back in the time of Jack the Ripper. So she had found one of the dead prostitutes and I was th looking through her eyes at this like mangled body and she was trying to help her friend because she was in shock so she was kind of trying to put all of her pieces back together without getting too graphic um, and I was in her body while she's doing this and so while this is happening a carriage pulls up and Jack the Ripper himself comes out of the carriage. Now, where this is different than other past life reads as well, is that spirit is still, was, still alive, well, and lurking. So it started to approach us, and this wasn't just a memory at this point, because I have a lot of spirits who I work with, and Medusa being one of them, she's like very seriously protective of me, and she came up over my shoulder. Think of it like that um, video game Crash Bandicoot where he has that little tiki man above his shoulder. That's kind of like where she was chilling above me to like protect me. All of a sudden she gets huge. She starts showing her fangs. Her snakes start going crazy. 
and that alerts me to the fact that this isn't just a memory like this spirit is like coming at us and so I turn around and we instantly just start blasting this spirit like Medusa's blasting him with like white light I'm blasting him with white light and eventually he starts to flee and gets back in his carriage now I don't take kindly to being bullied just like I said in the beginning whether it's from a human or a spirit I'm not gonna be bullied so I decide to follow this motherfucker and I'm like, I'm, I'm coming for you. Wherever you reside, I'm going to come and I'm going to kill you. So something I'm really good at is I'm an exorcist, among other things. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm an exorcist. So, and I recently started working with Hecate, who is also an exorcist. Now, I've been doing exorcisms for years without necessarily, like, realizing it with that terminology. But once I started working with Hecate, Queen of the Witches, I realized that's what I'm doing. So what happens is these negative entities, what the church would call demons, attach themselves to people and then they feed off of them like a parasite, right? So it's like I usually will remove these negative entities and I will kill them and I often behead them with I have a praying mantis guide. So one of my spirit guides is like a large praying mantis and it, what do they do? They fucking cut off the head. Um, so they will behead these things and kill them and I will cut all cords and ties. Now usually these creatures are attached to the family line and have been attached to the family line for years and years and years. So usually these creatures don't just affect one person, they affect the entire lineage. So I said, fuck that, I'm gonna go find this guy because clearly he's still bothering you. So I grab my client, I grab Medusa and we follow him. And we go through this portal. Now here's where things get a little loopy doopy. If you haven't already thought they got loopy doopy. So we go through this portal. And I'm in the fucking White House. I'm in the White House. At the Oval Office. And this thing is over Schmo Schmiden's shoulder. I'm not gonna say his real name. Because, you know, <laughs> God forbid in America you speak freely, but I digress. Um, so this thing is like cowering behind Schmo Schmiden on his right shoulder because he's like, face. I'm facing him. So I'm like, uh, yeah, no, fuck that. So I walk my ass up to him. Medusa's going crazy. My client's waiting in the back. I got other spirits all around me. And I, Kali Ma style, shove my hand into this spirit's chest cavity rip out its heart, take a bite, spit it in his face, and throw the heart on the ground. Now this entity's chest caves in and it falls back. And it's like dying. It's like gasping for air on the ground. And Schmo Schmiden is like, not, doesn't realize because it's like, he's, this is all happening in the astrals, right? This is happening in a plane of existence outside the physical reality that we're living in. Sure. I do that and I'm like, all right, on to the next life. So then I go back with my client to her reading and I finish her reading. It was wild. I didn't think much of it. I thought it was interesting because I have a different friend who had a vision. She was watching TV or something and on the night of the elections, the, um, <clears throat> Flolin elections, Flolin, replace a little letter there. Um, the blodulent, replace some letters there, elections. Um, on the night, <clears throat> she was watching a movie or a TV show or something. Her vision went black. Her physical vision went black and she had a horrifying image of Schmo um, slicing a child's face on one side slicing their guts open and then biting a chunk out of their cheek okay right a sacrifice a blood sacrifice of an innocent right a, a big sacrifice to roll in something messed up just like there was that <coughs> huge sacrifice made right before um Shmovid Shmintin, um, where they literally burned down the Amazon and, um, 
yeah, murdered others along the way during the Super Bowl and stuff. I won't get into that. That's a whole nother video. But anyway, she had that vision. So I thought, well, that kind of like, that kind of enforces the idea that Jack the Ripper's spirit and entity was attached to him because at the end of the day, these politicians are just puppets and they're just little flesh suits that are animated by much bigger, more evil entities and spirits that are running the show. And don't get me wrong, he, his human is very evil, but it's like, at the end of the day, he's a puppet, and I think that's very obvious from his behavior and the way he speaks and the way he handles situations. So, I didn't think much of it, and I move on with my life. So then, the next three nights, so usually it takes about three days for something like that to die. Like, it'll take three days for its, its spirit to fully die and go back to source. So, <laughs> For three days in a row, I wake up in the middle of the night choking, like, like literally choking, like, sh eyes shoot open like fucking Squidward when he's like, Meh! you know, like in Spongebob, and like, eyes shoot open and I'm choking, choking, choking. So this happens for three nights in a row, just saw 11-11. On the third night, my hands, both of my hands are numb from here down, like, can't feel my hands at all like swollen numb can't feel them and I'm choking again the reason I think this is is because if I'm choking and my hands are numb I can't grab right so I open my eyes and with my real eyeballs I see a swirling portal above my head not my third eye like my real eyes and Kali Ma is in that portal and she's floating above me with her crown and she's like this and her fangs are out and she's like trying to wake me up and she did she successfully woke me up so i'm like well what the fuck this is the third night in a row this happening so i asked julie send my ass up through that portal i shoot through it and i end up on the other side i end up in a fucking governmental building and there's a woman there sitting cross-legged like this and she's mumbling all this shit to herself under her breath. Now this is going to bring me to a topic that a lot of people probably don't know much about. So the reason that your government and that society try to tell you that psychics and witches aren't real is because they use them against you. They're constantly doing rituals and using sacred symbols that were once used for good. They use them for evil uh, to rein in their terror and to try to keep humanity a slave race. And so the reason it's not recognized as real is because if they recognized it as real, then we might catch on to their evil doings, right? But even when you hear about the R. Kelly cult and everything, there were plenty of whistleblowers who came out and said that he was using black magic against the girls he trafficked into the cult. And so he had both a psychic and a witch doing black magic on them and their families. And many whistleblowers have come out about this. I don't know if you can still find it because everything is so fucking censored these days, but many people have come out about this. Now, there's also been governmental people who come out about this stuff too. Whistleblowers coming out about the different psychic witches and agents that they have within the government. And even if you think about it, whenever they do stuff like big stuff, like I'm pretty sure the election was on a new moon, like they follow the moon cycle. They follow the spiritual holidays. They've been caught in ritualistic garb, like doing sacrifices and why they hate Alex Jones because he he snuck into one of their rituals and exposed them for the truth whatever you think of him at this point in his career that's how his career started and that's how he was defamed because he caught evil people doing evil things and those evil people are the what they call the elite but what I call skid marks <laughs> so anyway I end up in this governmental room and there's like a lady sitting cross-legged like this mumbling and she's in front of some like library like some like bookcase with like fancy books and all this stuff and um yeah and she's like mumbling and so I take my gorgon form so I have a lot of reptilian DNA you know how they speak about humans having like the missing link 
well, the missing link is interdimensional DNA. What's an interdimensional? An alien, okay? And why is an alien an interdimensional? An alien's an interdimensional because we live within the third dimension. Science recognizes at least 13 dimensions to this reality. So, in the third dimension, that's what makes us physical. It's very dense. Density isn't bad. Density just means it's more solid, more hard, more lower vibrational than other dimensions. As the dimensions go up, there's less solid um matter right like so if little particles make up everything in our reality this is just basic science if little particles make up everything in our reality the particles become less and less dense and then that's why when people see ghosts or specters or things like that they're more seen almost like in this like hologram or like they're see-through because it's like they're not in the third dimension they're not physical matter they're vibrating higher in, in a different form of matter so like when i saw kali above me she looked like a hologram essentially she wasn't like physically there she was she looked like kind of see-through so where was i going with this why was i talking about oh interdimensional is the, the missing link so the missing link there are all different kinds of species right so i have a lot of reptile dna and i have a whole video on this i will link it below that like not all reptiles are bad reptiles get a really bad rep even in our society like people don't like snakes oh people don't like arachnids either i definitely have a lot of arachnid dna that's where my temper comes from um like i i will link the video below and where i talk about this but basically we all have different dna from different interdimensional lineages and i have quite a bit of reptilian dna because reptilian dna is associated with italian dna and that's where we get you know the major players like bouchy or um the movestas i'm switching around letters because i'm so like we're all so heavily censored um so like these bad italian people and <laughs> Trust me, I know not all Italians are bad. I'm literally Italian. But we think of organized crime and the mob and our government is just, our government is literally just organized crime. Like organized crime has been running the show for years and years and years. So, um, yes, yeah, so the missing link, interdimensional DNA. Um, yeah, so because I have this reptilian DNA, I've been working with Medusa who is a Gorgon and um back from ancient greece and i've been activating my own gorgon dna within myself for good to help humanity to shift humanity to make humanity a better place right so i activate my gorgon dna i turn into full gorgon like i get my fangs out i've got my little like tail if you look at my my paypal it's a tarot card from one of my decks that is a gorgon because that's who i am look at my hair i have snake hair like even though i have the human version it's still it is what it is right if you have eyes to see you can see these things and if you don't that's fine too but don't don't give the rest of us who can see these things a hard time that's all i ask um anyway so i activate my gorgon version of self i've got my like snake tail i've got my fangs out my snakes are going and um i basically uh curb stomp a bitch because she's been choking me for three nights trying to kill me so i come up on her and i fucking choke her out and i get right in her face and i jack her up and i knock her down physically i saw that bitch fall physically physically hit the ground physically jack her up against against the bookcase and she's like gasping for air blood a little bit of blood is coming out of her nose and i i got her by the neck and i spit snake venom in her eyes that then shoots through her body i see it like energetically shoot through her body and go straight through her bloodstream and that's when the blood started coming out of her nose and i said how the fuck do you like it when i choke you and then I left. I fucking peaced out back through the portal and said enough is enough. And then I went back to sleep and I got peaceful sleep the rest of the night. So then I wake up yesterday and I feel like ass. Like I feel like shit. And so I can't do barely anything. I have two clients, two awesome clients. I love talking to you guys yesterday. Thank you for booking with me love talking to both of you they're both well one is a newer client one's a very long time client and they're both just awesome so that was like a huge relief to have 
people I already know and really connect with to work with. So I do my little Zoom meetings and then I'm like dragging ass all day long. So then I reach out to Michael, the peace dealer. He's a really amazing astrologer and he's also into all this stuff. And I tell him about it and he gives me some advice and then he was so kind and generous and he did spell work for me, a little ritual, pulled some cards and like, dude, it just showed me how much stronger we are together because I instantly felt better. Like they do everything they can to destroy friendships and to, to keep us from coming together in groups, right? Like stay inside and stay six feet apart. Like they do that because they know how powerful we are when we put our minds together. That's why there's this major divide and conquer plot right now to keep everybody separate and fighting about things that don't actually fucking matter. Because if we came together, if we all, the 99% put their heads together to take down the 1%, they'd be fucked. And we already are. We're on our way to it. We're working towards it, right? So he helps me out, was amazing. Super grateful for him. And then I decide that night, I say, fuck this. I'm going to do a whole ritual and I'm going back and I'm going to go intimidate that bitch. So I get ready in my room. I have my selenite tower. Selenite is self-cleansing. It's a crystal. And then I have my black tourmaline um, rod. And these things are... Black tourmaline like absorbs negative energy like crazy. And so I have them in each hand and I decide to go back. So I open up my own portal and I go in my Gorgon form as well. And I go through that portal, okay? And I get there and I start calling upon all these spirits. Like I call upon Medusa, I call upon Zeus, I call upon Ba'el, I call upon Osmodeus, my two favorite djinn. I call upon um, Ra. I call upon, like, the list is endless. I show up with, like, a pack of, like, 45 fucking spirits ready to fight. Ready to be like, fuck the fuck off, you crazy bitch. Which, like, I don't feel bad for fucking this bitch up because, like, you're on the side of evil. Why are you working for the government? You got a gift? Why are you working against humanity, you greedy bitch? It's for money, right? So, like, I didn't even feel bad at all that I was fucking this bitch up. So, I show up with my posse, and I just go off. And I realize while I'm talking, I have my crystals like this doing the as above, so below. Now, I have a whole video on Satanism, which I will link below as well, because the actual practice of Satanism isn't what, what's evil. It's the perverts and cultists that shift it and ruin it that make it evil. Because the basic laws and principles of Satanism do not mirror the cultist behavior that has been used and i talk about how the baphomet is a symbol of us and how we've been taught to fear symbols like i've literally spent my entire life taking back symbolism that has been stolen from us and shifting the energy to make it good the best i can so i'm doing this with my crystals like the baphomet that's what my solve coagula tattoo is taking lead and turning it into gold society right now is lead let's fucking turn it into gold so I'm yelling at this bitch and I'm spitting because your DNA, it marks your territory. Like when a dog goes somewhere, it pisses on something, right? So like when you spit, it's like you're putting your DNA. You're like, when you hear like, like in the movie Goodfellas, when the police come into the, the mobsters' homes, the wife will spit on the ground and yell at them and swear at them because this is her domain, right? So... I'm spitting, I'm yelling, and I'm, um, I've talked about this too on Instagram. Like, I'll just spit on my floor sometimes because it's like, this is my house, get the fuck out. So, spitting, I'm yelling, I'm screaming at this bitch, I've got a fucking fleet of spirits. And now what I can see is that shit's flying around the room poltergeist style, vases are breaking lights are flickering and i'm basically like don't fuck with me and this bitch's nose starts to bleed again 
And then all of a sudden I start speaking crazy in tongues, like going crazy in tongues or light language, or I just saw a two, four, 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 or whatever you perceive it to be. I start speaking. And as I'm speaking, I turn into a native American version of myself. Now I am native American in this life. For some reason, that's a hard pill for small minded people to wrap their head around because I am white skinned. But I think if you really look at my features, you can see that I have Native American features, but you know, some people cannot open up their mind enough to understand that. My great grandfather was Native. So, and apparently he was like one of the nicest men my mom had ever met in her life. I never had the opportunity to meet him, but so I'm Native in this life and I also have a past life where I was brutally murdered by settlers that were being animated by reptilians, just ne or demons, or like whatever you want to call them, negative parasitic entities. Now, in that life, we were doing things that were outside of the scope of natural science. So like, I could levitate, and I could levitate other people in that life. Uh, my spouse and twin in that life was, and when I say twin, I mean like twin flame, not like my not a biological twin, but he was my spouse. We were healers. We had like white skins to like represent like in our clothing to represent that we were healers. I could levitate stuff. He had like super strength. We could do like these crazy flips and stuff. Like gravity wasn't, it wasn't this dense. And so in that life we had crystal skulls and the aliens, the interdimensionals would come down, they would download information into the crystal skulls, and then as a tribe, we would do rituals and meditations with these crystal skulls to download the information from the star people, as we called them. And I worked very heavily with Ba'el in that life. He's a djinn, and he was known as the Buffalo Man to me in that life. So, in that life, I was brutally murdered. I had my throat slit and uh, among other things, I'm not gonna get into it because it's really brutal. But that version of me has a fucking bone to pick with the people who are in power during this time who are abusing their power. And so that version of me comes out while I'm speaking in tongues and all of a sudden I'm that Native American version of me covered in blood, like head to toe covered in blood and like spitting fucking tongues, spitting light language, however you perceive it, whatever. And yeah, and I was basically just spitting this being like, don't ever come back into my house. How dare you think you can come up in my house? try to kill me, try to hurt me. Uh-uh. Sorry. Bye, Felicia. Ain't gonna happen. So I do that. I leave them shaking in their boots. And then I head back through the portal and I go home. Now, last night I had the most wonderful dreams. I had a great time. So first of all, it started a little sketch. I was in like a multi-level house. I felt like I was in like it kind of looked like Louisiana, like what I've seen like the cities in Louisiana to look like, but it was definitely Italy. But I start out in this multi-level house and I'm talking to um, actually a very famous person that I've met and kind of connected with. And I'm talking to them and we're talking about how like we're not going to comply and how you know, if they try to like pull the wool over our eyes again, if they try to L-O-C-K, D-O-W-N, like we're not gonna comply, we're not gonna wear the M-A-S-K, like we're not doing it. And so we're having this conversation together and then these people come in the room and try to like tear us apart from our conversation. So as we're being pulled away, I start to run away down the street. And as I'm running, this car pulls up and there's like two men in like khaki cloak, like, like long trench coats and they're like looking for me so I like run down this hill to hide down the hill and so while I'm hiding down the hill they eventually find me and they're like they're not taking anybody else they just want me and I'm like I'm not going with you I'm not going with you no way and then they're like come on so they pull me up from the hill and they put me in their cop car and so I'm in the back of the cop car and I'm trying to call 911 and it's like not working and then we get to where we're going we get to this like pink house 
and it's like a multi-level house again it's like very victorian looking so we get to this pink house and i'm on the phone with 911 and they're like oh yeah no they're like nice cop like they're they're genuinely good cops like they are real cops because i was like you're not like i don't know if you're real like i thought i was getting like trafficked or taken somewhere you know and then they were like nope we just needed to bring you here so then i get out of the car and i look next to the house across the street and there's a pink church and it's like this pinky peach and there's like pink trees so it's like these trees have these like pinky peach flowers on them and there's pinky peach houses all next to the church so they're like we had to bring you to the church so I go in the church and the moment I get in there I keep hearing San Giovanni San Giovanni San Giovanni now this is where it gets even more crazy so i did the san giovanni working with arabian conjure shireen shout out to her i'll link her channel too if you know me you know i like her i enjoy her work so and i like her as a person so i did that working i paid for like my entire family i paid for my lineage i paid for cornica and that was a working for protection so I paid a lot of money to get to have us all join the spell. Now, the other fascinating part of this is my family. We are my dad's side of the family is Italian immigrants. The man who brought my lineage from Italy to America was Gian Giovanni Battista Dandero. So uh, John the Baptist, like San Giovanni, he's named after San Giovanni. And then the man who created my lineage, like my grampy's great grandfather, I believe, was Giuseppe, and he married a woman named Pompilia. So Giovanni brought my family here to America. So I'm hearing that's why I paid so much for my family to be a part of this because I felt like it was important and I wanted to venerate my ancestors. So I'm in there and I just keep hearing San Giovanni, San Giovanni. Now in this place, it is just gorgeous like there are statues everywhere there are saints everywhere there are all these beautiful artifacts there are candles burning like isn't the most beautiful things i've ever seen in my life i start burning candles i start collecting artifacts to like take home with me there's like this gorgeous christmas tree in the back with like these like beautiful ornaments on it like it was there was like a whole garden it was insane like it was so gorgeous and so I'm moving all through this place and I'm just feeling so at peace and so calm and I feel so safe and protected and I start to wake up and as I'm waking up in my head I'm hearing San Giovanni, San Giovanni, San Giovanni. So upon waking I decide to look up Pink Church and I find some stuff um, but it's not what I saw in my dream. So then I decide to look up San Giovanni because I want to see his picture. So when I look it up, I find a fucking peachy pink church. There is a literal peachy pink church for San Giovanni in Monte Bologna, I believe in Italy. I believe, I, I believe that's in Italy. But either way, I was fucking dumbstruck. I was dumbstruck that there's an actual peachy pink church for San Giovanni. Psh, crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh my God, what the heck? I was so shocked. I called my mom. I immediately called my mom. I just saw three, 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 three. I immediately called my mom. Okay, three is the number of the ascended masters. Jesus, Kuan Yin, Buddha, all that. So, yup. So, instead of getting choked out and almost dying, I went to see San Giovanni the, of Baptista's church and walked around that last night after my astral adventures and the protection of a friend and the support of a friend, Michael. I'll link his channel as well below. So, that's my wild and crazy story. I haven't even had breakfast or anything because I just was like, I have to say this while I still remember it. But honestly, I really want to be doing more of this on my channel. I want to be doing more story times, which this is the perfect segue into like my new thing that I'm going to be offering. So I really like Haley Reese. I'll link her channel as well. 
I really like Haley Reese and I love how she tells stories like I'm someone that like if I'm listening to the phone I want to be listening to a story and I usually want to be listening to something creepy or something spiritual so I've created a new email where you can send me your crazy or unbelievable stories or spiritual stories and you can tell me them and I will read them I will do story times and I will continue to tell my own stories and do my own story times but I will read your stories and then as someone who's like I said a seasoned witch and psychic and I have all these years under my belt of doing this work and my work speaks for itself I'm going to post a couple testimonials on the community page that I've gotten recently and I'll also be posting the pink pink church on the community page so look out for that but I will be um so yeah my work speaks for itself so when you send me your videos or I'm sorry when you send me your stories through email I will analyze them. So this can be past life stories. This can, like if you have dreams about a past life, this can be, um, you know, this can be um, scary stories like a, a poltergeist in your house. Uh, you saw something above you while you were sleeping. It can be whatever you want. And so I will read the story and then I will give my opinion and my expertise on that story. I'm really excited too because another passion of mine is like exploring abandoned buildings and stuff like that. I started out in my spiritual journey looking for spirits in what I used to call the wrong places. So like back in college we had a group that we called We Own the Night. We had a Facebook group for it and everything and we would break into this abandoned insane asylum that was near us. And we would go all through it looking for ghosts and we I have so many crazy stories from that time I should I think I have some posted um, but I'm gonna start telling more so it's like I want to start doing that again I want to start exploring abandoned buildings and vlogging it for you guys I want to start doing these story times and I like the Ouija board. I know people have different beliefs, but like I said, I'm a seasoned spiritualist and I definitely don't think it's a toy, but I also know I can handle it. So I want to start doing like Ouija board readings in the cemetery as well, because if you know me, you know I'm a fucking cemetery girl and I love the cemetery. So that's the new content that's going to be coming to my channel. I'm really excited about all of that. And then we're obviously going to continue to do pick a cards, but we're going to be doing one long pick a card a month and then little pick a cards, hopefully every day. So yeah, that's what I got for you guys. So check out the links below. because I'm going to link everybody, all the different channels. I'm going to link below and then I'm going to link that, um, email and yes remember to check the community page because i'll be posting testimonials as well as pictures of the pink church so yes um yeah i think that's it if you made it this far thank you so much for joining me i it was like an epic experience for me so thank you for letting me like retell the tale to you and i look forward to reading your kind comments and yeah, I fucking love you guys. Like if you like it, comment if you have something to say, subscribe if you feel like it, and I will see you another time, hopefully. All right, I love you guys. Bye-bye, have a good day. And I will see you another time. Okay, bye-bye.